Welcome back to Expeditions and Mud Runner Game, where we're looking for more vehicles to collect with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Unshakable Island. As you can see, I've been going out doing random missions here and there, but I'm still on the lookout for more vehicles to collect. And coming onto, un onto Unshakable Island, did a contract, a mission, and found that icon and realized that right here by the base was where you can start it from. I've now just got to work out my route. Um, it <laughs> I keep saying that and it doesn't turn it away. It should be quite straightforward. We've got to just go and pick it up. Easy peasy. Now, as I said before on previous episodes, I did go into the garage menu and all the ones that are unlocked, it tell, no, all the ones that are locked, it tells you um, where or well, what missions you need to complete. So I made a list on a piece of paper of all the vehicles with the mission names, but obviously you don't know what maps they're on. So what I've been doing as I've been going around maps, if you come across them, fine, but if you scan across the map and you click on various different icons, if that name comes up for that particular mission, like side mission, you know that's a vehicle recovery one. So that was the same one here. It popped up, I'm gonna go and collect it. This is for the Tuz, uh, the Warthog, the 108 Warthog. Um, and I'd say the, the route doesn't look too bad at all. Farm Dog thinks the route's wonderful. He's very happy with the way we're going. Hopefully we won't get stuck. Hopefully we won't roll over. Who knows? We've got the winch, but we should be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Now, I don't know, i say for the last one, there's six more I've got to collect. I've got a funny feeling, and I'm extrapolating from what I've found out so far. I found two on the main map, and then I found, no, two on the main, hmm, how have I done this? Anyway, I've got a funny feeling. <laughs> Carpathians has got five, and Arizona's got five, I think. So that's what I'm going with. Um, so I've gone out to each satellite map to have a look and see if I can recover vehicles. And as you've already seen in the last couple of episodes, we have recovered the Yar. So that's where we've got to. This route doesn't seem too bad. It's just here. There's loads of places where you've got options. I'm thinking that looks a better route out to there, only because I haven't really, can't really see much of the other route yet. But all that can change. If you get to a point where you've got a fork in the road and you're trying to decide, um, you can send the drone up and you can then have a look and see, you know, is this really the best route I thought I would go? So the route can change a lot. You know, you, you know, there's nothing stopping you from changing your route as much as you like. Go wherever you want, whenever you want. I, I put in markers now, a lot more than I used to on SnowRunner. I put markers in where I've got a choice to make or it's a change in direction. I know a lot of people will put loads and loads of markers in. Oh, what's that? It's not an airdrop, is it? It doesn't look like an airdrop. Oh, that's another, another side mission. What is it? Oh, um, no, I won't click on it to follow. We'll, um, when I come back and start mopping up on maps, so once you've done all the main tasks and stuff, and you want to come on and play and just have a bit of fun, do a bit of free roam, I don't really want to know. Do I want to go down into this? Probably should have gone up and out the other side. Oh, that's, I had this on one of the previous maps. What map was it I was on? Where I didn't take on the side mission. Um, and then I came to the blue marker. And the blue marker is for that... Or it is usually for one of the missions. Scanning, those kind of things. And it wouldn't let me scan. It, it, it just wouldn't let me do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Told you I shouldn't have gone into here. Should have stayed out. We can winch it. Auto winch, we should be not auto, an autonomous winch. It's not an auto winch, but if I can just drag myself up and drive forward and turn at the same time, we should be able to get out of there. There we go, golden. Um, yeah, so it doesn't always, I say it doesn't always let you. So far, it hasn't let me. Doesn't hurt to have a look, see what it's asking me to do. Let's turn it off. Oh, it's going to let me. Will it pay me, though? 
And that's interesting. When I've done these before, that little that little blue sort of ping you got coming out. What's what's there should be a third one if I get this one. So a little pulse. I didn't get that before on the previous missions I did like that. That gives you a good indication of the direction you need to move in. That's handy. But I say I'm, I'll do it. I don't know whether it will. Um, successful scan. It's done it. And it's paid me. It's only 500, but I was driving that way anyway. Right, so let's carry on and get this Tuz. Yellow markers, bridge build, rock removal, something like that. Looks like it. So, like I say, we'll keep going. Um, I have had people reporting to me... Uh, Reporting to me, it sounds ridiculous, isn't it? Messaging me to report. Well, I suppose it's reporting to me. Um, they're getting a lot of game crashes for various reasons. Seems to be the drone is causing a lot of them. Um, at this point, I haven't really had a problem too much. It's been okay. Cleared that block. Um, some, I don't know. We'll see how we go. I don't know how we're going to be looking for... Um, coming back, like I say, it depends on on what route we end up taking. If the route to it is straightforward, then we'll come back that way. If the route to it turns out to be a little bit dicey, and I'm, I'm basing this all on collecting that Tatra, I'm going worst case scenario. So that's the route I've got set, and there's that way. So this is what I'm talking about. We've got a fork in the road here. I can go up over... The Hmm. See, I don't know what's out that way. No idea. That way doesn't look too bad. I don't want to go to the right and go out of my way. There we go. Let's put the drone up. So I mean, I'm, 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 I, I haven't. I've had a couple. One where I got it right out to a map edge, and it just that does that thing where it's a no-fly zone. It went all fuzzy like that. Oh no, 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 no! Don't crash on me. And and it crashed, but only twice. I haven't had much of an issue. I haven't got a drone operator for this one, so that's why 80 uh, meters is my distance. I'm, I'm going to take a punt and go this way. It's a risk because I haven't gone too far out with the drone. I don't want to go out of my way to come back, but if this is an easier route, then, you know, that's not too bad. Yeah, so, so as I was saying, I'm basing all of this on recovering the Tatra. The Yar was no problem at all getting that. Uh, the Khan Marshal wasn't, I say it wasn't a problem at all. Um, the Yar got stuck in the rock face, didn't it? Initially that was a problem. Um, the Khan Marshal was easy. That was out of that crater. That was no problem at all. We got that. Um, but the Tatra force was a nightmare and even after Stuart helping me and I knew a better route it was, it was a difficult recovery so I'm basing all my thoughts of that's three vehicles recovered are they all going to be easy or are they all going to be like the Tatra force so working out a route is absolutely crucial <laughs> so like I say if you find your route to it is difficult getting back with another vehicle is going to be horrendous so it's finding alternative routes so right now we've got this rocky bit in front of us it's right down there it's down that little valley in front of us just over there but I'm just looking at the rocks we've got to go down to get to it we'd have to bring that back up away from it whereas I'm looking now to the left of this swampy area actually as well do I need to bring it back to where I started or can it to be to any of the outposts? Because from here it might be easier to go back to the other outpost. If we go out to the water, I've got those crossing points to the, to the north, well, I say the north, it's to, on my orientation. If I can get out to there, it might be quicker and easier to go out to that one. If I can get to there along the coastline, oh no, then we've got to cross that ford over that. That, oh no, it's actually it's a long way, isn't it? 
compared to from, oh yeah no <laughs> we'll go back we'll go back to my, where we started but i don't know if i want to go up that rocky bit so um yeah another route is what we will find i want to stop talking for a minute i'm gonna get down these rocks i need to concentrate because that's not the way to go i need to back up and go to the right uh we'll get hooked up to it then we'll think about roots and I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be overly difficult the tatra is a big vehicle the yar the khan marshal the taz warthog is a similar size to the lodestar ish maybe a little bit smaller i don't know similar sort of size it shouldn't be too difficult to tow it what I'm saying anyway. Um, I don't know how many heavies have we got in game so far. Is, is the Tatra Force the only heavy? I can't remember. That wasn't too bad getting out of there. I should put it in low range more. Well, when it's still pulling, it's fine, but we're at another point now. Another one of our um, decisions. Actually, no, it's not a decision at all, is it? I'm not going to go up over them. Hmm. That could be a smoother ascent, but then where do I go from there? Whereas that way round. Hmm. I did go over the top of there on a different mission that I was doing. That was putting out... Uh, was that the meteorolo meteorological one? I can't remember now. I was putting out survey things. That wasn't a bad route, actually, but I've got to get up that. That's... 
If I go up there, though, if I can go up to a... a hmm. Just thinking, there was a saddle, a sort of saddle in the ridge. If I can get up a shorter run, then up to the tops, maybe that would work. But I know the other route back is... I've just got to get over to the other route. If I can get over this ridge that's running to my left, then I can just follow the, the grassy or route back, and we should be fine. But to my right, it's a, it's a much steeper option to get to the top, up to the tops of that sort of mountain area, whereas this bit here in front of me is a lower section. I say it shouldn't be as bad. No, we shouldn't have a problem getting this at all. He said sliding immediately. Okay, that's not good. Always nice to find a new climb. What are we stuck on? Please tell me that's not... This is what I'm talking about. That stupid little bush. There's one bush just underneath us. That can't be causing this. Surely not. There we go. Over it. Now. Had a good run then. It just swung towards the tree. No, 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 Right, okay. Um... Is, uh, this is proving more difficult than I thought. I think I'm going to employ the same ta tactic I did with the Tatra. Uh, I'll drop it into low range. Um, yeah. Low range. Then what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll push on the winch so I can get a bit more traction and move forward. Then pull on the winch and put it towards me. It is that weird thing when I'm doing this, I found it with the Tatra, I'm finding it now, is that every now and again, it, you'll get a sudden movement, and it will gain traction in the vehicle behind, and it will start moving. But it seems to, it will stick, then it will gain traction and go, and then it will stick, and then it will gain traction. Um, I know it's not, it's not a default coding that it's designed to do that every time you've got a climb, but that's how it feels. There we go. Just got to keep... Um, Keep turning them tyres. Kick the tyres and light the fires. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I mean, it could have been so much worse. I don't think I'm going to go to the right and up over the tops. I know if I go down the side here now, um, we should be all right just to go straight into the valley and follow it back. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, I think for a change... I'm going to stop talking for a bit. You can just, um, as I've said before, you can bask in my misery. Just enjoy watching me make mistakes. Like that. I needed to turn to the left. Do I risk going over the top of that and rolling everything over? Whew.
Now at this point, I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit puzzled. The marker hasn't come up on the map for where I'm supposed to be delivering it to. What's happened? Uh, let's scroll down, where's... Logistics issues, that's what we're doing. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> you know, I did that side mission, that little side mission. Because I did that, it knocked me off of the tracking for this one. I didn't even notice. Didn't even realise. I was getting closer and closer thinking, I don't understand. Why Why is it not showing where we've got to take it to? Then I panicked and thought, am I going the wrong way? <laughs> Please tell me I'm going the wrong way. Um, but that's been, that, was a, that was a nice drive back. It wasn't too bad. A few little detours here and there to avoid some bits where I thought we might get stuck. But on the whole... That was good. And there we are. Logistics issues completed. Taz 108 Warthog collected. We'll head back. Um, I think we'll, yeah. Do I want to continue my wanderings? No, we'll probably head back, I reckon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a look at the... Uh, I'm not going to buy it, I don't think. So if we head back... There you go, that's our payment. Um, and I'll probably do the same as I did for this one. I'm going to go out do a few little missions here and there and see if I can f locate another one um, and we'll kind of go from there really see what happens so I'm here on mountain labyrinths and I was just doing a job in my um, last few two three videos I've been going around and trying to find vehicles and it's I say it seems pretty clear to me um, that there are five on Carpathians and five to collect on I'm saying that I'm extrapolating <laughs> out on um, Arizona and I'd done I think some from each map I'd, I got two off of um, Slip Rock Swamps didn't I I got the Khan Marshall and the Tatra Force which was an absolute nightmare um, the Yar 87 was on Dormant Volcano I did that with the um, Marshall didn't I that was one video then it was collecting the uh, Tatra Force. That was a video in its own right. <laughs> that was horrendous. Um, and then the first part of this, we did the Tuz Waterhog. So I thought, okay, well, the, the map left that I haven't found one on is on Mountain Labyrinths. Actually, you know, I should do it. Turn it on. So I came out to do just a job on here. Just uh, And I did a mission, and it was going out. Was it for filming? I can't remember what I was doing now. Um, but I had to find a... Um, a rusty ship and the rusty ship was here took some pictures of it it was about boats being used in the local area um, and then I had to come up to here and there was a sunken ship along here somewhere I had to scan completed the mission rather than go, and I'm so glad I didn't go back because on all of the other maps when you click on these icons and there it is look <laughs> right person for the right job um, I was going around the map and I was clicking on these and I think lit literally as I've come past here, that's that, well, that, that's just popped up. So I'm going on these and I'm trying to find the one that links up for the ANC. Um, and it's right person for the right job, which is here. So anyway, so I thought, you know what, rather than go back, I'll carry on scouting around. Oh, it says free roam top right. I'm going to carry on. I'll scout around the map, see what else I can find. As I was driving along, I saw the ANC. And I thought, hang on a minute. That's weird. I haven't found an icon on the map for that. I turned the corner and here it is right here so that's our task we get a new specialist out of this one um we're gonna follow uh, deliver the explorer's truck to their camp oh no 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 oh you've got to be kidding me so it's got to go to their camp now i'm going to say this i crossed at this crossing point um here and there's a bit that runs up the side there. And I thought, oh, that looks pretty cool. I tried to go up there twice, three times, and I kept rolling. It was really steep angle, but there were no trees or anything this side. Now, I could, put an I could have put an anchor out, had I brought an anchor with me, which I didn't. So what I'm thinking is then, from here, is up this way, up to the top. Oh, crikey. Okay, maybe not. Um, am I the only person that's suffering horrific... Um, game crashes when using the drone now i played this pre-release for a week since release constantly i had someone message me saying oh you had any problems with the drone no oh I'm getting horrendous game crashes day after i've had now six or seven game crashes to the point now i'm terrified of putting the drone up unless it's i mean even if it has because it's frustrating um 
I want the little saving game little cogs to spin on the right hand side of the screen. If it does that, then the game crashes. It will put you back to where it's saved from, which is fine. If it hasn't done that, it puts you back to the previous point it did it, which can be ages before. Um, so, I'm so reluctant to use the drone now, which is so frustrating. It's such a massive part of the game. I mean, at the end of the day... That, that's... It's crucial to all of your... Um, all of your searching, you know, your checking routes and that kind of stuff, it's massively important. I have barely touched Arizona. Um, I've been talking to a couple of people the last couple of days and they were asking me and I said, well, I, whilst, yeah, I, once I realised, a few people messaged me and said, you do know there is a mission on it. Yeah, and I did that video saying, I'm sorry, I, I missed it. Um, I wanted to get more done on Carpathians and then move on to Arizona. So I haven't really touched much of Arizona. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm hoping I find some more airdrops because there aren't many. It's just going to come up saying I've discovered a new Ford. Maybe not. Some do. Happy days if they do. And every now and again, I'm getting a thing coming up saying you've discovered a new airdrop. Awesome. Um, I'm wondering whether I should go round the side try and find another way up. I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want this to be for naught. I want to be able to actually complete this one. But the fact I found it kind of by accident, I, I wasn't really looking for it. Is that going to turn around or am I going to need to tow it a little bit more? No, not from there. Why don't I tow it from the side? Nope. Don't get the angle just right. There we go. Turn this around a bit without rolling it over. Yeah. It's going to roll now, isn't it? Come on. There we go, right. I will turn in. There we go, so now we've saved. <laughs> I'm not as worried about putting the drone up because it should put me right back here again. I need to get up there and as I was going to say... Um, actually that does look like that might be a better way, maybe over this way. Um, this is so steep all the way along here. Without going all the way back to here and then maybe coming up this way possibly, that looks like a route. But I don't really want to go that far out of my way. If I can help it, just say, where's the other? There's another entry point. I think it brings you into Unshakeable Island. Where is it? Is that for this corner? There is one somewhere. Anyway, <sighs> never mind all that. Shall I put the drone up? Actually, that does look pretty good there, doesn't it? That looks all right. So we just go for it. We are starting to lose the light. See, now I'm on this kind of... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of trying to explore the maps a bit more now rather than just doing the missions because I wanted to find vehicles. And um, we're kind of succeeding in that. But if, if there are five on Carpathians and five on Arizona, which again, that's just me guessing because this is the fifth one this is all of i've found so on all of the maps on carpathians my guess is that's the case it might not be at all but that's kind of what i'm thinking we might need to uh rethink this a little bit oh, oh blimey I don't want to be too steep because it's. If you've seen the other recovery jobs, blimey. And getting that warthog, that was horrendous. I'm going to have to put the drone up. I don't want to. I mean, I do want to, but I also don't want to.
Right, I'm going to stop the recording here for a moment because if it does crash, I'll lose everything. So, if I if it if I don't you don't see here for me in a moment, or I'll explain. We'll see. Boom! Game crash. <laughs> oh, it's getting ridiculous. Um, when you get like one or two, it's oh yeah, I've had a couple of game crashes. You know, it's, it's frustrating. It's annoying. You know, I've had a couple. You know. When it's at the point it's at now, when you've got almost like a five-bar gate system, you're just keeping a tally of how many game crashes. Not good at all. I know I've had a, a few messages from a few different people who are really frustrated and annoyed. I'm, I'm loving. I'm still loving playing it. it it's annoying. I had the same thing when Farming Simulator 22 first came out, and that was the same. Okay, game crashes galore. So when you're making videos, it's it's really difficult because you have to keep saving your recording over and over and over and over again just to make absolutely certain if the game crashes you haven't lost all your recording you've done you know if i was doing this if i was recording obviously using my um elgato the game capture to my pc that wouldn't be a problem because that would continue running i know a few people have said that and it has been mentioned i'll turn the engine on on that that's gonna make a little bit easier shit. um but it's just yeah, I get it. I get why people are annoyed. I really do. It is frustrating. It is irritating. But what I will say is, I put the drone up, and this is the route. This is the way to go. Um, this river runs downhill. But if we follow the river, we've got this... You see there now? It looks lovely sweep up. I'm not putting the drone up again, because I'm just not. And we should. Fingers crossed. This should be... It looks all pretty grassy. It, it looks doable. I'm going to skip ahead time. One shouldn't be enough, though. We should, we should be morning now, I think. Uh, tree. That just flung me in a weird direction. I don't understand. Sometimes you can drive along and you don't have any problems with bushes at all. And then every now and again you'll get one and you just get hung up on it. It'll catapult you. It'll, you know, it's very strange. You'll be going along through the grass, not not hammering it, not going super fast, not doing anything overly ridiculous or anything like that. Um, and then bang, you get this massive suspension crash and you damage everything. It's just weird how, you know, just out of the blue. I can understand if you're going over big rocks and you're going over stuff that potentially is going to cause you issues. When you're kind of going through the grass and it looks, you know, maybe there is something in the grass, maybe it's something horrendous, but... <laughs> That's getting a bit frustrating, isn't it? Well, like I say, this doesn't seem too bad. Unless we're going to get to the top here and there's going to be a horrific crossing point, or a bit like this where I've got to be careful that it doesn't roll or anything like that. But it doesn't seem. I, I'm just. The problem is, I'm, I'm gauging every. No, 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 no reverse. Oh, I'm gauging each one not good. I'm gauging each one by the um, by the Tatra Force recovery because that compared to all of the others was so difficult. Oh no. I've just realised if I've got to cross over that and that requires a bridge to be built, I don't have I don't think I've got any spare parts now. Without an airdrop unless we can cross here maybe this looks like a good enough place to stop. Do that that. Let's have a look we should be over here um i see when i was using the drone i think i got to about here my fire oh, doesn't look too bad then wallop it crashed so it didn't really give me much to go on um where are we gonna get to oh, that's a fair way in it oh that was me saying it's plain sailing all the way i mean we could go if that runs up and you've got a crossing point here if that's the only crossing point, I need to be on this side. I think, again... Oh, do I put the drone up again? I haven't had the, the thing spin for a little while. If I follow that around the side there, maybe, up over here. If this is a crossing point, we can come up there, maybe, and around the back.
mean, it look, it's difficult to see because it looks like through that gap. And if I could, if I could put the drone up, um, it looks like it snakes around to the right. But if, do I take the chance? Go up as high as we can go. See if it's a pond and see if it goes round. Right, so we can get to it either side. Um, left hand side doesn't look too bad until we get over there. This could be a bad call, but let's give it a go. No, it's on the not yoiking a dead weight along. Let's do this. Where do I have to be towing from? I'm towing from the front of my vehicle. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, every time. Oh, there we go. That's better. So strange. I do have some fuel reserves, so I'm hoping we don't run out. Oh, we haven't got far to go. It doesn't look horrendous, but you know said that before, haven't we? Oh, I mean, oh no, no, no. Oh, this really was not the route to go, was it? I should have stayed down there. You know what? Let's back it up. Back it up, dude. Roll over there we go. That's it. <laughs> That's the way to go. I'm trying to find a nice grassy bit like we had before. Because that I liked that. That was you know. <laughs> That's the way to go. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I, so I'm just mulling over all the stuff with the drone. It's just it's such an integral part of what you're doing. I'm the wrong way, can I? Just look at this thinking, that does not look good. Can we get through these trees, maybe? Nope, go to the left. Left, left. Oh, look at that. We are getting closer. See, it's that, that first look. I was like, oh, no. Because I tried to get up that escarpment and just failed abysmally. I thought, I can't take this up that. There's no way. This hasn't been too bad. We're almost there. Oh. This looks nice open and flat. Sort of place for a base camp. Boom, get our reward. Thank you very much. New specialist. Oh, new mechanic. Can repair anywhere. Oh, okay. Cool. Right, I'll decide what I'm going to do next. Right, so hopefully, if I return now, I mean, I could carry on exploring. I mean, this is this thing. I know when it says um, when the game was released and was sort of sent out all the information saying there's a, there's a hundred hours of gameplay to complete the main missions. So if you just go mission, 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 and you'd really knock the time out, in a hundred hours, it's done. This is, this is hundreds of hours of gameplay. Because you go onto the maps, you do the missions, and you might not unlock all of the map. There is a module, and I said in one of my previous episodes about radar on SnowRunner, there's a module on one of the vehicles for radar. Oh, which one was it? Anyway, um, it's in the ones that aren't unlocked yet. So there, there is a module for it, 
which would make life a bit easier than the drone keep crashing. But, oh, there it is. There's the exit point. I can go out there to Unshakeable Island or in from Unshakeable Island, whichever way you want to go about that. Um, what was I saying? But, yeah. So, to then go around and find all the upgrades on the map. So, you've got all the upgrades for all the vehicles and all the side missions. And there are a load of side missions. So, that initial, there is 100 hours of gameplay just doing missions. That's fine. I think people took that as, oh, there's only 100 hours of gameplay. What's the point? No, there's hundreds of hours of gameplay over some, I think, some of the best terrain so far in the series. You know, I, I did um, spin tires. I, I've done a snow runner. And don't get me wrong, I love snow runner. But I, I just think for the actual, I'm, I'm just loving the terrain. Arizona is is difficult as well. The couple that I've done on there has been tricky. Anyway, what I was going to say was, if I go back to headquarters now, because I haven't been back to headquarters, I should have uh, the previous mission on here. There we go. Secrets of the Depths. 19,400, right person for the right job. Nothing to sell. So we will return with an extra 24,700 in the old Skyrocket. Lovely. Which means now, if we go to our garage... Oh, the other thing I was going to say was, when I said about the drone crashes, has anyone had the problem? Again, a few people have messaged me. Um, when I came onto this yesterday to play, my Lodestar 1700 Rock Biter, which is a mod, um, was gone from my inventory of owned vehicles. It wasn't there. Well, that's strange. So I thought, oh, you know what sometimes happens when you come to load the game up? If the mods haven't fully... Um, loaded into the mod hub but normally you get a warning and the warning will say um, that there are there are mods or vehicles missing from the game do you wish to continue blah 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 didn't get any of that so I came back out to the main menu checked in the mod hub no the mods were there they were the one that one was installed I had it came back into here gone so I thought is it like snow runner where if you've left it on a map You've got to go back and retrieve it to the garage. Well, no, that's not the case. I'm sure when you come back out, if you've got multiple, because that was when I had two vehicles on the map, that was the vehicle I was driving. So surely it would have left the other one behind, the Step 310. Um, so didn't matter what I did. I, it was gone. So I had to rebuy it. So it cost, I had to buy the thing again, do it all up again, which it was a bit frustrating. But I've had a couple of people say, if you've got, some people have had multiple mods that have vanished um, from what they own. Not from the mod hub. They're still in the mod hub. They're still installed. Just went from the um, the menu. So, yeah, another one of those. Let's hope that doesn't happen too often. So, there we go. There's our Ank MK, or Mark 38 Civilian. That's 150 grand. Oh, I was hoping to buy that. I was going to say, well, should we treat ourselves and buy that? There is a modded one of those. My um, Lodestar is a Mr. Buses. There's a Mr. Buses one of those as well, um, which is rather cool. So I'm, I'm thinking, now I've unlocked it, I, I felt a bit kind of, mm, would it be dodgy to get the modded version when I haven't taken the time to actually find it, to bring it back and unlock it? But now I have, I don't feel as bad maybe using the modded one. Potentially. Anyway, and then the other one we did earlier was where's it gone it's nice we've got a few more to look at there you go the tuz 108 warthog that's only 75 grand we could get one of those if we wanted to i don't know if to build up a bit more money than go for the ank i really want that but that's um i mean i would still be left with a tidy bit of money it's funny isn't it how when you start out playing the game and you've got very little money and you start to build your money up, build your money up. Then you get a little bit more selective about how you want to spend it. You know, I spent ages building the money up. Do I want to spend 300000 on a heavy? And then find when we scroll through, you might unlock another one or bring another one in that's better. Or I mean, to be fair, there aren't... That's off-road. That's, that's the only... Hang on a minute. Scout. Off-road. That's the only heavy. That thing where it said about having... Um, Scouts, off-roads, and heavy. That Tatra Forsake, well, that's the only heavy. The other Tatra is... Um, yeah, the 805, that's a small one. Ah! 
I might have to go for one from the um, mod tub. That's a good point, actually. Was the Goliath still showing? Do I skip past that? Oh no, that's still there. That's 133,200. I might go, mind you that, oh yeah, in the description, I was going to say that same scale, in the description for that in the mod tub, that is saying that for some reason it put it into scout and it's not a scout, that is a heavy. Um, but that will get changed in an update, I think. So, could get one of those. It's a big old brute. Anyway, um, that being said, that was a bonus. I mean, that was an absolute... I mean, that was a surprise find in so much as I thought it was probably going to be on that map but didn't know whereabouts it was going to be and just happened to finish the job I was doing, Secrets of the Depths, and then drove along that, that little... I keep saying coastline. I know I keep saying that, but uh, along the edge of the river. And, um, and there it was, just sat there. And it wasn't too bad a recovery, in all honesty. So, that's it for another episode... I've got so much more to unlock. But the cool thing about that is I, I don't want to rush through it all and complete it and go, oh, now what? You know, I know there's more coming. I know with the year one season pass, there's going to be more stuff coming and there's probably going to be a year two season pass and a year three season pass, the same as I've done with SnowRunner. And knowing what comes next, it's going to be fantastic. There's going to be some brilliant stuff. I know there will. Um, but I'm just loving playing it. I just hope they get the drone situation sorted out. But anyway... Talking of droning, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.